Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we're going to complete this message. The message is the power of spiritual awareness. People have lost their lives because of their lack of knowledge. Thinking that, you know, there are people that, you know, what they saw with their natural vision, they saw danger. They saw destruction coming their way. And, of course, you know, the Word of God says, life and death are in the power of the tongue. And, and say, you can, you'll eat for that, the fruit thereof. And the people say, well, no way we can get out of this. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of our lives. And, of course, many folk have died because of that. When protection was there, deliverance was there all the time, God's angels are present at all times. They are sin and descend. They are here now. They encamp around about those that fear the Lord to deliver them. It says he's given his angels charge over us to keep us in Praise the Lord in all our ways. So, you know, the man of God, I recall in the Old Testament that the man of, that, uh, you know, the king of, no, Elisha was telling the king of Israel about the plans that was made by the king of Syria. And the king of Syria would try to trap the king of Israel, but he would always be delivered out of his hands. He couldn't catch him. So he said, it's got to be a, got to be a, a spy in the camp. And, one wise person in there, I called him wise because he, he knew what was going on. He said, no, Master, he said, That's, it's that man of God in Israel. He's telling the king what you said in your bed chambers. And he sent a, you know, a group of soldiers, a large number of soldiers, to capture this one man. And his servant was out, and he saw this army. And he was upset. He was afraid. And he said, Master, alas, what, what, what shall we do? And the man of God made a profound statement, a powerful statement. He says, more with us than with, with them. Of course, now the man, the, the, his servant was seeing with his natural vision, and I know he could, he could count because he saw himself and Elijah, that makes two. But he saw this large army that came to get him. And then Elijah prayed, saying, Lord, open his eyes. The man had spiritual eyes. We are spirits and we have inward vision. His eyes was open and he saw all the angels. His protection was there all the time. Your health and healing is here all the time. Your money is in your house. But, you know, money is in the house. Some, some people walking around saying that they don't have any money and living a poor in their life. You know, because people are destroyed for life. Not. What you don't know can kill you. What you don't know can destroy you. What you don't know can defeat you. What you don't know can keep you down. It says in Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Let me give you just a brief review real quick. Message is the power of spiritual awareness. What is the thing that you want God to do for you? Apostle Love, I want God to heal my body. Friend, God is all powerful and he has already completed the work of healing your body. Uh, Hebrews 4, 3 says, although the works were finished, from the foundation of the world. God healed you before you got sick. I'm going to move on. It's the word of God. God has done his work. Praise God. Prove it, Isaiah 53, 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we, that's me, and that's you, are healed. Didn't say we, we're going to be healed. Healing might come to us. We could get it after a while, after 30 or 40 years now, say we are healed. And it says in 1 Peter 2, 24, who his own self, bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin shall live unto righteousness, by whose stripes you, ye, were healed. God finished the work from the beginning. But, but the reason you saying you're sick is because you don't know you're healed. And the sickness can destroy your body. And that's what it comes for to kill you, to destroy the body. What you don't know is hurting you. What you don't know can destroy you. There's a natural awareness and there is a spiritual awareness. Uh, Apostle, I don't understand. I know you don't feel. I don't understand, Apostle. Uh, I am sick. You don't have spiritual awareness. Because if you had spiritual awareness, you wouldn't be saying you were sick. God's Word say you're here. You're saying you're sick based on Natural awareness. 
how you feel, what the doctor said, what you've seen and all that. I'm going to move on. Isaiah 46 10 says, declare the end from the beginning. Friend, you cannot take possession of a thing when you do not have any knowledge of the existence of that thing. Friend, you cannot enjoy a thing that you do not have any knowledge about. You can't enjoy health if you don't have no knowledge about health. Jesus said, according to your faith, be it unto you. Friend, how can you say, and I hear many folk not saying, listen to this. Friend, how can you say that you have a thing when you lack the spiritual awareness that you have that thing? Many church folk are saying what they, they said, Apostle, I'm sick, been sick for 30 years. The whole church, half of the church is sick. Uh, we got high blood pressure, heart trouble, diabetes, bad feet, off the rise. We're sick. Natural awareness. Because natural facts do exist. We're not denying natural facts, but that there is also spiritual uh, awareness, spiritual truth, which will change natural facts. God has moved his hand. Somebody waiting on God. God, oh God, please move your hand. Oh God, please move. God has moved his hand. He done told you that. He has moved his hand from the beginning, but done everything that even the devil knows that he don't have no short time. It's in the spiritual book. Some people say they believe the book, but they deny what's in the book. There's a difference between spiritual awareness and natural awareness. Knowledge, let me do, what is knowledge? Knowledge is awareness. The word know means to be certain of. See, you're certain that you're sick. God said you're here. You're not certain that you, you have no spiritual awareness. People die for lack of knowledge. Uh, know means to be certain of. To regard as true, beyond doubt. Aware means having knowledge. People can possess physical knowledge without possessing spirit knowledge. Spirit knowledge allows people to be aware of what exists before it has naturally appeared. You know, God said and then God saw. But you know, he said before God said and he saw. Okay. The reason that people firmly declare that they are sick is because they do not possess spirit knowledge of their healing. Oh, I know it's in the book, Apostle. How you feel? Oh, I feel bad. I'm sick. You have no spiritual awareness. You got some head knowledge, but you, huh? Uh, the possession and declaration of the possession of spirit things are the actions that displace unwanted physical things. Isaiah 53, 5, and with this right we are he healed. 1 Peter 2, 24, by whose stripes ye were healed. What you do not know is hurting you. What you do not know can keep you poor or it can allow sickness to kill your body. I'm going to make this statement again. The reason that people firmly declare that they are sick is because they do not possess spirit knowledge of their healing. Isaiah, I mean, I repeat that, Hosea. Chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What you don't know is hurting you. My people, and some folks, you can't, they won't accept knowledge. Fool don't want any knowledge. I'm not calling you a fool because I know you're wise. You're listening to the video cast. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The things that you do not know can cause your death, destruction, imprisonment, or defeat in life. Natural awareness is the information that one acquires solely from their sensory perception. One's sensory perception is the means whereby one obtains information and that information is relayed to their brain by their smell, taste, hearing, touch, feeling, sight, and reasoning. Knowledge that brings forth spiritual awareness, it does not come by natural means. It is given to us by our Father, which is in heaven. There is a natural knowledge and there is a godly knowledge. There is natural awareness and there is a godly awareness. You know, it's sad. And it's sad. It's sad to know that you can go in a church called by the great spirit's name. Call God. Call Jesus. Call the Christ. And you go in there 
and there's a lot of flesh, living folk, natural speaking folk. If they don't naturally see it, then everything else is a lie. That's true. People that are not walking by faith, people that lack spiritual awareness, people that lack now, and the preachers up there teaching them to deny what the Spirit is saying, to, to reject it. They're teaching them to live only by their sensory perception. If they don't feel it, then it ain't so. Somebody says, well, what did God say? They say, uh-uh, if, if I don't feel it, it ain't so. They disagree with God. They're being destroyed for lack of knowledge. It's sad when you go in a place. I, I've been in places and you hear those people talking about what they naturally see only, disagreeing with the knowledge of God's word, disagreeing with God. Sad because God is a spirit. They that uh, worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is the father of spirits, meaning that all his children are spirits. A spirit has eyes, nose, mouth, ears, head, hands, body. That's why when the rich man died and he lifted up his eyes in hell, now his physical body didn't, you know, it didn't know nothing on the sun. His eyes were closed, decayed. But he lifted up his, because he was a spirit, he lifted up his eyes in hell and saw Lazarus afar off. And wanted Lazarus to come over there because Lazarus could walk. Man is a spirit. God is a spirit. People living, in, in the word of God, living by the natural man and not by the spirit. He said we should be led by the spirit. We should walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. A lot of people are being destroyed because of lack of knowledge. It shouldn't be that way. Either you're a spirit being, which we all spirit being, you know, now a person don't have to live by the spirit just because they're a spirit being. And then there are some people, you know, there are spirits that are dead, but they exist inside of physical bodies. Because you must be born again in order to have life, eternal life. You exist, but you just don't have God life inside you. I'm talking to you, friend. Because uh, you haven't been born again. So now, how can it be that spirit people do not speak? Spirit language, do not think spirit thought, do not speak spirit word, do not believe spirit word, but only believe natural things. Something wrong with that. Something wrong with that. I believe the devil got his hands in that somewhere. <laughs> I believe the devil got his hands in that somewhere. Praise the Lord. We love you. We'll see you next time. God bless you.